Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm in Tavernier, Florida on Invincible's brand new 39 Open. Now this center console boat is built on Michael Peters' SVVT hull. In fact, Invincible was the very first company to use that hull and have proven it successful, powerful, efficient, and it handles like a baby. The SVVT hull is a step bottom, but it won't spin out like the old style hulls and it gives you all the benefits of performance and fuel efficiency. Now let's walk you through this boat starting with the helm station. Check out the size. Now the hull beam is 11 feet so there's plenty of room for this oversized console. We've got two 18 inch garments here separated by a mercury vessel view gauge and two ICOM radios. Now that's quite a trick there but a lot of the fishermen like to have multiple channels on all the time. We've also got plenty of room down below for our autopilot controller. We've got a bow thruster on this boat and of course the mercury throttles that are electronic throttle and shift, super smooth. I like the array of switches down below and the fact that they installed all the circuit breakers right with the switches. You don't have to go look for a panel down below somewhere. Naturally we've got a tilt wheel and the compass is centered with it so you can easily take a bearing on it. I like the fact that you've got this fiddle rail here so that your gear won't slide off. You've got another fiddle rail at the console giving you a great place to keep mobile phones and you'll notice there's charger ports all along that dash. Now on a performance boat like this you want to have some performance seats at the helm. These Lebrox are optional but check out the flip up bolsters and the fold down armrests. Below the seats you've got handy tackle storage. This is the starboard compartment. The port side compartment has hanging bags and utility box storage. Now this is all part of a fiberglass pod which includes the mezzanine seating on the back side and there's a cooler underneath it. Now if that's not enough tackle storage for you, pull down the mezzanine seat back, check this out, drawers, utility boxes, and an additional pair of drawers ideal for holding line leaders and tools. If you want to go standard here on the leaning post, there's a bench seat with plenty of storage underneath. Now you've got two standard live wells on board. First, the 75 gallon well here in the transom. You've also got an 80 gallon floor well. Both of those are fed by a sea chest to keep the water coming in at high pressure and keep your bait safe. When you're making your way out to the fishing ground, you've got these two extra jump seats. Now you've got four fish lockers in the boat, two in the cockpit and two forward. When you're bringing that fish on board, use the port side dive door for your tuna door. There's also a ladder tucked up under the hatch and that's the nicest arrangement we've seen on a boat for a dive door ladder. If those four fish lockers aren't enough for you, check out this one here at the center of the bow deck. Now the difference between a good boat and a great boat is often a collection of smaller things that you might not notice like the storage compartments on the port and starboard side here. I like the storage under this dual lounge, but here's a cool piece of hardware. Wherever you have a raw or freshwater system, you got this cool hanger for the hose coils. That's the most organized system I've seen. Another great feature you'll find on this boat is the array of rod holders, both along the center console. You've got tip holes in the hard top that lets you hold longer rods there. And you've got a rigid floodlight on the top, which makes it easy to fish off the bow at night. Even the hard top you might overlook is ordinary, but look at how these D-shaped channels integrate into the fiberglass console, giving it extra rigidity. Now the two halves above are sandwiched and bonded to give you a solid roof, and it's ready to take an upper station if you so choose. Now when you look into the console below, you'll see that Invincible has taken special note to make your boat easy to maintain. You've got easy access to your electronics panels through these doors. You've also got easy access to the switch panel. Under the forward part of the console, you can option up for rod storage with rod cradles. If you go back to the bilge area and lift that, you'll see that your mechanics are going to have plenty of room to access the pumps, the fuel switches, and all the plumbing. Even the bow thruster has easy access in the compartment in the forward storage. Now the options on this Invincible 39 open are few, like the electronics and the floodlight. But your options are unlimited when you order this boat to your liking. I'm Randy Vance in Tavernier, Florida on Invincible's 39 open.